Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. It's Tobago Thursdays and we continue the conversations uh, in and around Tobago. This morning, joining me from the Tobago Civil Net uh, to discuss the Tobago Civil Net Autonomy Survey. I have with me the director of Tobago Civil Net, Dr. Ryan Allard. Good morning to you, Dr. Allard. Good morning to you all. Thanks How for you having doing? us. I'm doing well. All right, fantastic. First of all, tell me a little bit about the Towards Autonomy Survey. What is it exactly? Yes. Well, Tobago Civil Net is a civil society organization here in Tobago that is aimed at promoting democracy, promoting goodwill amongst the people, ensuring that people are aware of, of their rights and responsibilities, and of course, to ensure that civil society is connected to each other, is able to support each other and move Tobago forward. So the survey that we have launched, called the Tobago Autonomy Survey, is to measure the status, uh, what people think about Tobago's autonomy, which of course has been discussed for many, many years. So we know that the, there have been you know, bills put forward in parliament, you know, there have been some discussion. What we want to do is understand what are the attitudes and beliefs of Tobagonians, ordinary Tobagonians, on the topic of autonomy. We want to foster awareness of the process to ensure that people understand it's not just the politicians doing work, but it's the people also that have to be involved. We want to promote a shared understanding of this, and we want to encourage consensus and the necessary steps. So understanding that it's important to get data on this, to understand what people think, not just to have discussions in, in um, community discussions, but also to measure across Tobago what are people's attitudes and beliefs on this so that we can decide how to move forward how to Dr. develop Allard. an actual strategy for Tobago. Dr. Allard, do you think that there's a clear understanding of what autonomy means? I think there, there's not as yet. I think there are many different perspectives on this, you know, both in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, the survey is only for Tobagoans. You want to understand that side. And I think that when you hear people talk about autonomy, you hear a wide range of things, you know? So for instance, when there's a, an issue on the air bridge or the sea bridge, suddenly autonomy becomes a, a large issue again. Mm -hmm. When we hear of higher costs in Tobago, autonomy becomes a topic of discussion again. When you hear of, you know, say, the secretaries in Tobago of the THA having restraints on what they can do in Tobago, autonomy comes up again. So there are different dimensions of autonomy that are discussed. What we want to do with the survey is generate a shared understanding of, okay, well, we're talking about what are specific things do the broad range of Tobagonians want? What are the specific approaches that we can use to accomplish those, those desires? And how to get everybody on board with those approaches? So I yeah. think there's a need for a survey like this, and of course, for the follow-up work that has to come after that survey. But you know, uh, people will still be doubting whether or not their opinions would actually have any sort of impact. What insight can you share into that? Well, interestingly, so we've been collecting quite a few, um, the survey launched on the 1st of September, so we've collected mm -hmm. a lot of responses already. And it's very interesting to see some of those opinions. They've been quite well thought out, you know, quite well developed. And it's interesting because you see some depth to the thoughts that have been shared in the survey. And that's exactly what we wanted, right? So we want to ensure that people are able to share their views so that we can collect them and share them with the public more broadly. So I think it's important to understand that all of us, we have a voice that can be shared, that can inspire others. It's not just about, you know, going once every four years or every five years to tick your name, you know, to, to, to vote in an election and say, I've done my duty, I'm done. Mm -hmm. That actually is not the, the, the most powerful way that we can be citizens of this country. I think we can do a lot more by contributing our voice during surveys such as this and in other forums, clearly. But that allows us to inspire others so that others can see our view, others can perhaps think differently about their own lives and their own positions here in Tobago, here in Trinidad and Tobago, and to the world, within the world in a broader yeah. level. So, Dr. Allard, can you share with us some of the demographic collected so far? Because, I mean, yes, you mentioned that, you know, since, it, since it's launched, you've seen some interesting responses. But I'm curious as to who those responses have been coming from. Of course, I don't expect details, but if you can yes. give me an idea of the demographics so far. Sure, sure. So we've gotten 
uh, I would say approaching over a hundred responses. We've right. gotten responses from all districts of Tobago. I think 14 or 15 districts are, are represented already. We've gotten responses. It, it, it leans a little bit on the older end so far. So okay. we've certainly be, you know, you know, that's actually part of our strategy of getting multiple forms, multiple platforms, multiple channels to engage the people of Tobago, right? So as we continue with the social media strategy, we expect that some of the younger folks will get involved. So we've gotten some of the older ones so far. And I think the 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 opinions have been broad in this, the, the spectrum. You know, we have people who are saying, yes, this is important, this is critical, this is the number one thing for me. And you have other people, people saying that, well, you know, let's take a break. Let, let's, let's pull back a little bit and let's mm -hmm. think more about this autonomy issue. So we have everything in between. You have people saying what they think THA should have, what powers THA should have. You have others saying that THA should have uh, a relationship with, with central government in Trinidad at different levels. And because we're measuring people's opinions on a broader level where you can describe your beliefs more completely, we're able to see a wide diversity of perspectives here, which is very interesting. So we look forward to more people coming together and sharing their thoughts on this. All right, so if you if people who are looking at this interview now and they, they haven't seen the survey, they haven't gotten the social media link, where can they go to access it? Where can they, how can they take part in the survey? Of course, Tobagonians only, for now. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, the survey is, um, is on the internet. It's at um, uh, tinyurl.com slash Tobago Autonomy. So it's on the screen there. And you can also just use your cell phone and scan that image in order to go straight to that survey. And the survey should take you no more than 10 minutes or so. It's just a really quick survey. And again, for all the younger ones listening, this is actually super important for, for your future in Tobago, I think. You know, it's something that you are able to express yourself, but you're also able to kind of think more deeply about all these autonomy discussions that you know you've probably heard over the last several years you know, whether they have been positive or negative. And I think this is a way for you to contribute to that discussion and help to steer Tobago. So I'm calling for all Tobagonians, you know, uh, all resident Tobagonians to fill the survey. It's a great way for us to advance discussion and for us to really move forward on this topic. Nice. And tell me something before we before we wrap, Dr. Allard. Um, when, it, when it's done, when the survey is, well, is there a deadline date, first of all? Do you have a deadline as to when you're going to cut off, finish in the yes, survey? And yes, after 22nd yes, second of, 22nd of September, yes. Okay, fantastic. And after that, is it that the results of the survey are going to be published publicly, or is it going to be delivered somewhere privately? What, what is the, the plan of action afterward? No, the idea is certainly public. You know, we are a civil society organization, right? We're not politically aligned in any way. Mm -hmm. We are welcoming all members, of course, from all parties from anywhere to come join and support the advancement of Tobago. But the aim here is always Tobago's advancement, and that requires transparency. So after the survey is complete, we'll be doing the analysis internally. You know, we have, you know, some you know people with expertise in that in data analysis, statistics, etc., and of course with AI we're able to do an even deeper analysis in a way that can allow us to communicate with the average Tobagonian a lot more easily now. I would say so. The report will be made public. We'll also be having some public sessions to discuss the results. And you know we've done this in the past. You know this is not the first survey that Tobago yeah. CivilNet has done. So we're going to be continuing that process, pushing Tobago forward <clears throat> in in any way that we can as a civil society organization. All right. Well, Dr. Ada, let me say thank you uh, to the entire CivilNet team. I know you guys have been working hard. Uh, I remember when I first encountered you guys, it would have been for the election. And I've been paying attention to the work that you've been doing. And congratulations on it. Keep doing it because I think it's important work. So everybody is aware of, you know, the whole process, the democratic process, because it's an important one to be a part of. Really appreciate that. And no thanks problem. for having us on. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. All right, so that's Dr. Ryan Allard, Director of Tobago Civil Net, just sharing with us some information about the autonomy survey that they have ongoing. Of course, you can head across to the website, uh, tinyurl slash Tobago Autonomy, and you can check out the survey and be a part of it. It's only for Tobagonians, right? Let's take a quick break and come back with more on Tobago Thursdays here at the Now Morning Show. I did not sink with Atlantis, nah, nah, nah. The giant saved me when I returned to the surface, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought alchemy 